everyone and welcome to week five and welcome back from our very early mid-semester break. This week we're looking at networks and communities, two kind of foundation concepts in the study of social media or social technologies and the role that it plays in people's lives. Uh, networks are kind of the foundation for a lot of our activity in social media. Of course, we use social media platforms to connect with people as diverse as our family, work colleagues, um, perhaps people we've met online that have a similar interest to us, but we don't actually know them in real life. Um, so uh, networks that we build across social media platforms and within social media platforms are um, ways that information spreads and um, are ways that we enact our relationships in those spaces. So this week I have put up some content for you related to social networks um, and related to the way we perform ourselves in um, new public network spaces. We'll be looking at personal learning networks, so I have a couple of videos for you about my person, personal learning network as well as my tips for uh, creating your own person, personal learning network. And I've also posted some resources related to communities as well. As you progress through the week, I want you to think about communities and networks and whether or not they're actually the same thing. My feeling is no. I think communities have specific characteristics where people connect around um, like interests or some common content or context, um, whereas networks don't necessarily form in those kinds of way. Um, I think if you look at the definitions of community in um, social uh, science literature and then extrapolate some of those for the online environment, you can get some really interesting insights into what communities actually are. They tend to have boundaries, they tend to involve being in the same space, um, they tend to involve those common interests, um, they often have um, either formal or um, informal, implicit or explicit kind of rules for how you engage within that community space. Um, so I think that they are different than networks. Um, some places around the web you'll see them defined as the same thing. You'll see people call networks communities and communities networks. Um, but I'd be really interested to see what you think about that based on your experience of using social media um, and social technology more generally and how you engage with people um, around your networks and the spaces that you're in. This week we do have a class on Friday. We have a guest lecturer uh, coming in. Bernd Plotera is going to come and talk to us about passion-centric social networks um, based on his PhD research, um, which looked at, among other particip participant groups, um, people who were networking around bodybuilding. So um, quite a specific network um, or community there. So come along for that guest lecture. Um, it's also an important class because I'll be talking some more about your persona poster assignment and giving you some more information on how that works in terms of specifications um, and my expectations for what you'll um, be doing with that particular assignment. We will also be talking about the results from the social media use survey. Um, so thanks to those of you who completed that survey. Um, and the reason I wanna do that is to help you get a feel for how you guys as a cohort use social media. Um, and I want you to be able to have that understanding to help you with understanding your own use of social media um, as you create your persona poster and also just to give you kind of a baseline for, for what people are doing. I always think it's really interesting to get insights about a, a particular cohort and I hope that you will find that um, really interesting as well. A couple of bits of admin that I wanted to mention. First up, um, Anna and Kay have finished going through all of your first posts from week two your identity posts and commenting on those. And they've written a blog post of general feedback. Now please read that because across the board, we do wanna see some um, fairly significant improvement in quality of posts. So please make sure that you read their feedback and act on that feedback before you have your first posts due in a couple of weeks time. I also wanna draw your attention to the fact that I have moved the date for the persona poster submission. So the due date is now a week later. Um, so that you have some more time to work on your poster and we have more time to talk about it in class. I've also firmed up the date for the poster exhibition as well. So I'll just um, double check those dates for you now. The um, persona poster will be due 
um, in week seven on the Sunday night, um, and that will be the 24th of April. We will also have our poster exhibition um, in week eight on the Friday night, 6 p.m. till 8 p.m. at the Cube, and that is the 29th of April. Um, so there'll be pizza and you can bring people along, um, and that's when we'll be doing that. We won't be having a class that week because you'll be spending time at the poster exhibition. There'll also be prizes, so I hope lots of you can come along and um, have some pizza, look at your peers' work, vote on the posters, get some prizes. Um, the prizes will still be available, of course, if you can't attend um, in person, but please do come along if you have time. Um, and then your first um, posts will be marked from Sunday the 8th of May. So your um, blog posts, you've got um, right up till the end of uh, week nine, the 8th of May, to be polishing those up before we mark your first blog post. So please do go back to that feedback, make sure you're on top of what it means to write a good post um, and uh, that you updating and iterating your work as you progress. In this week's learning materials on the main weekly page, you'll see I've given you a reminder of um, how the unit works and I've made some suggestions for managing your work in the unit. Please have a look at that and make sure that you have some systems and processes in place to make sure you're up to date uh, across the semester. We will not be reminding you to submit posts on Sunday nights. That's your job to remember that you have assessment due. So get those reminders into your calendar um, and just generally make sure that you are on top of when everything is due and what's happening in the unit. Um, there are lots of due dates, but it's fairly straightforward. You've got two weeks to do every activity, so just make sure that you've submitted them two weeks after they are released. That's pretty much it for me this week. It's a bit of a, um, a simple, easy week. Um, now that we're getting into the groove of semester, I expect that things will um, really kind of even out for you guys and you'll just be getting around the site and talking to each other and um, commenting on each other's blog posts. So make sure you're doing that as well. It's really important. Okay, I'll leave it there and I will see you all in class on Friday, either online or on campus. Um, if you aren't able to make it to class, that's fine, but please make sure you do watch the recording, especially seeing I'll be talking about the assessment this week. Have a great week, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.